A local high school is trying out some new technology aimed at making students think twice about lighting up e-cigarettes. If you have a child in high school, chances are they or someone they know is using these. Yeah, and many of those students confirmed it, and that's according to the most recent National Youth Tobacco Survey. 2.14 million American high school students reported using e-cigarettes. That's more than 14% of all high school students senior uh, high schoolers excuse yeah, me yeah and among those who use these cigarettes more than a quarter said they vape every day it is not just about the nicotine hit 85% of youth e-cigarette users opt for the flavored varieties with fruit flavors the most popular followed by uh, candy or sweeter flavors. Yeah. And vaping is of course not allowed in schools but it's not as obvious to spot as traditional cigarette yeah. smoking of course. Megan Woods is live in Berkeley where they think they have a solution to this. Megan. That's right. We all know about smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors and the principal here at Berkeley High School say the sensor they plan on installing is very similar to that, but it, it focuses more on vapors and they plan to install 20 of them in the bathrooms. They announced it to families earlier this week. Smoking in the bathroom is bad. Some parents agree there is a problem, but questions the solution. You can't be putting cameras in there. There are zero cameras at all. Berkeley High School principal Andy Malaj is dispelling some of the myths surrounding halo vape sensors. He even spoke to Oakland School's technical campus after they installed similar sensors two years ago. And they had experienced some success with uh, a decrease in the amount of vaping and an increase in students feeling more comfortable and safe in that environment. Vapors from an e-cigarette or any other device trips the sensor's silent alarm to notify school staff. Absolutely, that's a good idea for them to have vaping detectors because why, why do you think so? it's not good for their health. But then what happens next? Are they going to get in trouble? Like, what's the consequences if they find out that it's a yes? So it really depends on the situation. And I think with stuff like this, you've got to take every situation individually. The school board approved the sensors and they've already been purchased. The high school is now just waiting for a date to install them. Back to you. So Megan, did they say what the consequences would be if students are found vaping in the bathrooms? Well, you heard from the, the principal who was saying it's case by case, but he went on to say it could go anywhere from a meeting with parents and the students to in school uh, suspension, out of school suspension. It all depends on the code of conduct. Yeah. Okay, Megan, we appreciate it.